first off, I want to get to the latest on what you know about this suspicious package. Obviously, it's been in the news. It was sent to your home in Kentucky. Uh, any idea of who might be behind this? What can you tell us at this point? You know, I was on the plane yesterday coming from Kentucky back up to Washington, and my wife called as soon as I landed and said that she'd gotten a, a suspicious envelope out of the mail, and it appeared to have powder in it. Uh, as you can imagine, kind of a disconcerting message to get. And uh, so, you know, she had washed her hands. I told her to, you know, change the clothes, wash the clothes. And later on, the FBI and the Sheriff's Department got the material, were able to evaluate it. And thankfully, we've uh, now been told that it's not poisonous. But it's still terror. You know, these people are trying to terrorize us. But it's not just in person. I think the people are being fomented and encouraged by Twitter. Twitter is allowing people on a daily basis by the thousands to uh, wish that I would be assaulted, to think that it's just hilarious that I was assaulted and uh, nearly killed by an assailant a couple of years ago, and uh, thinking it's just you know great fun to encourage people to do this on Twitter. And Twitter doesn't take any of this down. You know, you make the slightest mention, you can't even have Donald Trump on Twitter. But I have people every day on the left uh, wishing me violence and encouraging crazy people around the country to attack me. Uh, the latest was this uh, C-list songwriter who was saying he'd buy drinks for anybody who wanted to attack me. And uh, Twitter thinks it's just, uh, you know, yeah. these are jokes, according to Twitter, and Twitter leaves them up. Uh, but my wife and I are tired of it, and uh, we're going to be pushing back on Twitter, and uh, we're just tired of it. We're, we're, we're not going to take it anymore.